for today is Geek Fam versus Execration. What an amazing, <laughs> what an Instalock band there <laughs> for the Ling. I'm not, I'm not even surprised at this point. I mean, yeah, right? Like, you just got slaughtered by that hate Ling. <laughs> you're just gonna let it yeah. through. Like, you're just yeah, playing smart. the lose at that point. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that, uh, uh, you know, Geek Fam got trolling because of that trolling tandem. <laughs> so, trolling. Uh, it, it, trolling. So I think uh, it's, it's you know, one of the things that you have to consider. It's not just a respect, but it's an active fan because they know that they couldn't pull off uh, this kind of tandem. So the best thing that you could do is to really deny that. But this leaves more options for execration uh, in the long run. And, you know, really locking down the Claude alongside with the signature Grok, it's, it's something that you have to take into account for. But at least Geek Fam have their early game secured with that Sam is one of the best heroes in the early game just because of that pure sustain. But at least Geek Fam, let's see if they can make it work this time around. Because Geek Fam, I feel like they're trying to get a book or getting a page out of Execration's book here with a pretty, very Execration y comp. I would say. <laughs> On the other side, I think Execration, let's swap out a little bit. Let's see what happens, right? Let's dance Your around with the picks. And maybe Execration can make a statement from this by showing off some of that swag. Maybe Execration can protect the Claude better this time around. Your team is picking. Indeed. So for the final ban of Execration, they would be uh, banning out the help hurt. And uh, I think... Hmm, I, I'm liking uh, the draft picking. of Execration because, okay, they already have a solid free hitter, the Quad, uh, especially uh, one of their core damagers here. The same thing, Farsa, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go as a support. And Uranus here for, uh, you know, adding the survivability rate of all the draft or compositions of Execration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I... it, it's pretty interesting, but... Here though, for Geek Fam, Swirly, I think you have something to say on this one. Uh, is this a new hero? We haven't seen this hero in a long, long time. Really? Do it! Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, new hero. On the third day is of the fifth week of MPL, <laughs> heroes oh. again. It My feels goodness. like after we got off quarantine, they stopped using Granger altogether, yeah. right? Yeah. I feel like this is the first time yeah. I'm gonna see him ever since the quarantine started. And I gotta say, I'm really liking it so far here for Geek Fam. They're going El Clasico as they would. And giving it up on the other side is also a classic pick here for Execration, which is the Atlas. I would say we got a match in our hands here again, guys. Don't you agree? I agree. I go for Execration. All that. I love the tankiness and everything. So <laughs> Execration for me. I mean, I like the curveball in the Granger. St still a hero with a high win rate, technically. <laughs> Plus, I like the Natalia on CKTD. So, let's give... I'm gonna I'm give Geek Fam a chance for this one. Alright. Oh, okay, so I have to agree. Execration looks like they have it solid. It's very comfort. It's very classic. However, again, Geek Fam, they looked like they were fighting for their lives in Game 1. Let's see if that's gonna happen again in Game 2. Wolf and Reptar, go ahead. Geek Fam says the recipe to make a comeback is probably to bring back a hero that we haven't seen in a while ever since the MPL came back for week four. We are your casters for this game number two between Geek Fam and Execration. My name is Reptar. Joining me here right now is Wolf. And don't worry, Wolf, I'm not going to leave you behind like I did in the first <laughs> game. I'm sorry. I, I really enjoyed it inside Jawhead suit. He has a, like a really neat entertainment yeah. system in there but looking at what the, these teams brought out we're gonna put the focus onto geek fam because they're the team that really needs the wins here is this composition that they brought out enough to go up against what execration brought to the table in this game too well uh, in terms of the, the, the what the meta dictates right it might not be enough however i think geek fam page what they what what really is ingrained to their minds is okay we have to go back to what works we have to go back to what we are able to pull off and maybe just put something for example if you're all preparing a recipe deployed. right just you're preparing a cheeseburger then you put some pickles of course then all of a sudden you put some 
some um, some chili powder or maybe a garlic mayo mm -hmm. in there to, just to surprise Ooh. yourself, just to spice things up. Yeah. And I know you're hungry. I am hungry too. This <laughs> looks like that kind of analogy for Geek Fan PH. Very good go to recipe, but with a slight spice that might catch execration off guard. I'm not saying that it's going to be successful, but we just hope that it will be because Geek Fan PH, they're fighting for tournament life. And Gifam will try to do everything they can to stay alive and make sure they get into the playoffs with the first kill first over blood. onto Benny Cutie might be it and they get a first blood in favor there for Mace Toms. And with the lineup that Geek Fam PH brought out, clearly they want to be able to focus down Eat the Max's Farsa with the last two picks, of course. Granger gives them the distance they the distance that they need. CKTD can be that assassin that they need go up against the Farsa and looks like they might just be able to take out Ito Max here. That's going to be another kill for the Toms. And this aggression that Geek Fan PH might be what they need to make sure that they can take control of the game now before Execration can run wild on them because they Ooh. do have the Claude and the Farsa. But May is getting chased here. Will they be able to take him down? That jump over the wall. Looks like Tom has learned how to do parkour and they get to get away safely Ooh. without a loss. What a great Escape there by Geek Fan PH. Saving Private May. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> by no means, they may. I mean, I, I'm lost for words, man. I'm just so amazed of how May was mm -hmm. able to control the times. The movements that he did. It was. This is something that you record and you, you imitate how he moves. Like even the slight movements that he does. It's so well done. And then again, of course, why not NCKTD combining to help his teammate. But unlike Saving Private Ryan, they came out as three. They came out complete. Not only Ryan surviving, not only Private Ryan, Ryan surviving, but the rest of the gang surviving. And Execration mm -hmm. really underestimating the power of Maze Thams. This is a sight to behold. One thing that we haven't talked about, Reptor, by the way, this is uh, Exhort playing the utility slash core slash uh, side lady Kaja and will be able to take out Etomax with it because I think CKTD is listed as their quote unquote support and then Exhort is their core side laner this is a page out of Brent's mm -hmm. book when Few was using the Kaja as a Turtle utility core soon. I think that's the that's the best description for it mm -hmm. yeah and right now it seems to be working out perfectly for Geek Fam PH. Notice how the aggression that they showed up early in this game, it's making Itomax's life a living hell. He's not even level four yet. He doesn't have feathered airstrike. Yes, they're trying to put everything they can into that Claude. But at this point, you'd expect that Farsa finally hitting level four. But as I said, the aggression Geek Fam put onto the map just made it hard for Itomax, Itomax's Farsa to farm. And we're seeing it just pay off perfectly for Geek Fam and giving Execration such a hard time right now. And the question is, when will Execration find that perfect setup? They might have to wait a little bit longer though because Zapnu gets taken out. The Feathered Airstrike is there. They might be able to get payback if they get to take out CKTV, which they do. Now it's Geek Fam and the run. What a perfect setup there by Chaknu's Atlas with those uh, Fatal Links. But it looks like it, that proved to be fatal for Geek Fam indeed. Because now they're on the run. Now it's Execration applying the pressure. Can why not get away from this? He's able to get a knock up there on Hate, but Hate is safely out of the reach there of the turret. The Feathered Airstrike doesn't finish off. Why not? And so Execration takes a small win there in a fight that what looked like to be Exe uh, Geek Fam's win, but Execration was just there for the response and they get to turn it around. Uh, this is amazing display of uh, Jack News tank skills. I think. So far, the MVP, I, I might name him the MVP of the series already, even when this is, when game two is not yet done. In his dying mm -hmm. breath, he took two members of Geek Fam PH to the grave. That is amazing because that, that really turned the tables around. Hate was struggling in terms of farm before that, and now he's doing great. Now the Thaps gonna be punished. Again, Jack No combining with Benny Cutie and E2 Max. Very nice initiation onto the Thaps. That's how you catch up the Thaps. Trying, you juggle, um, you, you kind of pick where you will attack him because mm -hmm. you have to take note his ultimate will really, really help you, help him um, regenerate up. But if you time it perfectly well, like what Ito Max, Zapno, I'm sorry, Benicuti, and Chapno did, great. 
Oh, look at CKTD. Wanna punish Zapno. The Grok. He falls onto the left side, though. That's gonna be the Kufra down. So it's a one for one exchange, but it's gonna favor execution because they are near the turtle. This is why you take fights around the turtle, Reptar. Because once you win it, you're gonna be able to transition into objectives. Yeah, and looks like Geek Fam might have overcommitted in the wrong lane because Execration was clearly there. And it's not like Geek Fam didn't have vision. They had, I believe, I wasn't, rem I can't remember exactly who that was. But let's bring it back to the action here first because it looks like if they're gonna get a kill on Exor, Execration turning this around, resting control away from Geek Fam considerably so because now that's gonna be two kills. Benny Cutie able to take out Mace Toms. This might be even three now, but. It's actually gonna not favor execration because that was Zapnu getting dangerously low and CKTD is hounding nearby, but he has to be really care careful. E2 Max is right there, but without a further oh. dash. Like, oh, what a good guess! That's just a good guess there! And like, execration now though, but Atlas, Chapter might have overextended and they get to take him out. It looks like e Max had eyes behind his head, man. It's like, I see you there, Natalia. Yeah. And just dropped the Feather Dare Strike and it just stopped any idea that Natalia had to dive in there. Yeah, you, you know what happens when you try to zigzag. You should zigzag randomly because if you zigzag not randomly, you can't. It's not as if you are zigzagging at all. I don't know. I, uh, I think um, what I'm trying to say is. If you try to be, if you try to dodge a bullet, but you're still predicted, you're not even dodging. You're just literally just moving because your opponent knows exactly where you'll go. It was lucky enough to mm -hmm. to survive that CKTD. But yeah, Ito Max kind of knows where his target is at. This is mastery that we were saying. Now, all of a sudden, extrication is actually leading in terms of the economy. Thought for sure that mm -hmm. Geek Page got it in the back, but. Some veteran moves out there from execution and veteran punish and really good initi counter initiation from Chakno really paved the way for this kill. Look at this. They're waiting for the ultimate oh. to pump before they fully commit. And just as so, they try to go out of the range of the counter inferno to try and take down this May Thams. Now they will punish another one. Gonna be Try's another Thassin. And execration gets two for two for but Okay, Exhort! Should this be good? Whoa. It will be! Flame shot, point blank! The finish of hate. At least they were able to get the core there of Execration. Perfect Divine Judgment coming in by Exhort. That is the small victory you want to take. And because of the pressure that they were applied to other lanes, now they had to... They were able to force back Zapnus Grok all the way back to base. But that... The question... It, it it was weird how they didn't go straight for the turtle. Maybe they just thought it was a lost cause, or they really just didn't have enough time. But they maybe could have contested that. But but let's see. Looks like we're gonna be getting another fight here. Execration looking to punish Geek Fam. They do because they get to take out Exort. The rest of Geek Fam now on the run. They don't have their claw there. Execration's claw isn't there, but they don't need that core here because a lot of damage is coming in from Farsa right now. But looks like the damage seems to be turning around right now. Execration. Trying to finish them off here, but Geek Fam with the perfect response. May is still somehow alive. Conrad Inferno is keeping him up. And that is a good turnaround there. Favoring Geek Fam. Not really, because May just got taken out there. Benny Cutie might be able to get more. Why not taking a lot of damage? Here it comes the rest of Execration right now. The Claude finally joining in the fight. That's going to be a double kill there for the Uranus. Three down on the side of Geek Fam PH. And that is going to be a big, big win. For execration as they push down this middle lane turret as they secure another purple buff that's supposed to be geek fams and as they continue to apply the pressure and step on the throat and the dreams of geek fam execration telling them you're not gonna make it to the playoffs because we're here to stop you we don't care our our slot is fine but we still want to win a game is a game and execration is giving that game geek fam though having a hard time turning the turning things around Reptar, that's the dagger, really, to the heart of Geek Fam PH. And it was delivered by e Max. And he says, mm -hmm. Execration pays it, regards. Man, that was a godly winter truncheon use. And because of the fact that they dove mm -hmm. onto e Max, I mean, Geek Fam PH dove into e Max, they have committed so much. Just one winter truncheon really saved the day. Why not? We'll definitely die here. 
And to what no, effect CK TD, another Winter Truncheon in there, and look at the punish from Execration. Wow. Zapno with a godly wild charge. Lining up two members of Geek Fam Beach, making sure that nobody dies from Execration. And they take out one in exchange. Execration just really on fire this game. Geek Fam, they need a miracle at this point, Reptar. Yeah, when they won that crucial team fight, uh, when finally Execration were able to turn things around, they just haven't let go. Geek Fam has just been scrambling all around. That last kill they got on Why Not with the Fender and Airstrike coming in from the far side near that orange buff, look, it was deja vu. That's exactly what we were just analyzing at that exact yeah. moment. So it seems like right now Execration just has Geek Fam red in terms of how they're trying to salvage this in the late game. And Geek Fam PH in the long run, it seems like they weren't able to make that Granger work. And this is probably why we haven't been seeing Granger as much. Curtizi is a really great player, is a great marksman, but he's just having such a hard time trying to find this Granger, uh, getting it to work. Because even if he can hit those Death Sonatas, it seems like it isn't enough. Is it a question of can they turtle this long enough to catch up with the resources and turn things around because they'll have the items they need? Maybe. But we also have to look at it with how Execration is moving and how they're applying the pressure elsewhere. And speaking of pressure, it looks like they're going to be applying the pressure in the mid lane and looking to finish this after all. There goes the Fatal Links. Beautiful play there by Chaktu. Execration looking to finish this, but they received a lot of damage there. They have to be careful here. May is still alive. No one down yet on the side of Geek Fan PH. As long as everyone's up, they can still turn things around. The Lord gets taken out. Execration just applying the pressure. They're just cleaning it up right now. All of them are janitors wiping out the turrets of Geek Fan PH. They might look to end this. Here comes the Feathered Air Strike once again coming in from the far south, dealing so much damage, forcing Geek Fan back. Execration might take this, but they say, you know what? We're just going to play around you just a little bit. We're going to find our perfect moment, and this might be it. Once again, the Fatal Links, I believe, they get to take out, why not? Quanta gets to take out, why not? Execration, though, now on the run because the defense of Geek Fam was able to take out Hate and Chaknu. And once again, we might see another valiant defense from Geek Fam trying so desperately to hold on to this game. Nice. But Benny Curie is just there. Oh my goodness, Farsa oh, got a kill. Oh. He's about to got a kill off camera, too. That's not what you want to see there for Geek Fam. Execration. Yeah, I believe they were chasing Itumax, but Itumax just turned it yeah. around with the help of Zapnu. Geek fam, and, Wolf, what else can they do now at this point? Yeah, well, they have to defend with all their heart. It's gonna be impossible. Fortunately for Geek Fam PH, they will have this one resource that they can work with. Red buff for Cartesi. Imagine if they don't, if they didn't have this, man, it will be straight up execration winning the fights. Nevertheless, they're still in a big deficit. It's gonna be like, like Everest from now, in terms of an uphill climb. <laughs> For Geek Fan PH, Execration really happy to have the high ground at this point, and just they're just looking at Geek Fan PH, respecting them as well, but they know that they have control of this game. They don't have to to be uh, ahead of themselves. They might be able to yeah. punish Gertizi here. Fortunately, Gertizi able to run though out by go and punish Zapnu and Chapnu, but um, Execration will just you know chill a bit. Wait for Geek Fam again to commit the mistake. Oh, it looks like that might be the mistake. That's an overstep there by Geek Fam PH. That flicker fatal links right into the feathered airstrike. Execration looking to finish this. But Geek Fam PH is not going to give up. They're not going down without a fight. May trying to keep himself alive, trying to sustain. But look at the space out, the box out by Benny Cutie. They get to take out the Natalia. Will they be able to take out the base here? Why not? And Geek Fam trying to defend. But looks like Execration able to deliver the dagger that 